Red Dead 2 kind of takes place like it's around it's around when there were still like bandits, outlaws, cowboys, shit like that, but it's a little bit as they're it's like as they're starting to die out. They're starting to become like everything is starting to become tame. Cowboys might have been a big fan of Miley Cyrus, who knows? If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. As soon as I can, I'll turn on subtitles, by the way. Arthur, any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest, buddy. He... You know, an old man in town. I could totally see a cowboy bop into some Miley Cyrus, maybe some like Taylor Swift. I could see it. Nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you are going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Micah scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. Miss? Just for a short bit, and I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davey, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. Let's go, Arthur. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, 
I ain't had time to ask me. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. We need you strong. Okay. Let's go, Dutch. Let's get this shit. Bruh, I fucking... I remember back when I lived in Michigan when it was like cold and snowy and shit. I had all my like modern day like big old puffy coats and shit like that and I still fucking hated it. It was so goddamn cold and freezing. I cannot imagine what it would have been like back then. Oh god. I mean they fucking, they struggled to make, they struggled to make like fucking waterproof boots these days. Imagine what it was fucking like back then. This would have sucked ass. I just, man, I fucking hate the cold. I never, I would never want to live in a place where it's like this. Oh, what we got? What we got? Is it Micah? You up ahead? Who's there? Micah. Yeah, it's Micah. This dude's a fucking I bastard. So. I, I fucking hate Micah. Okay. He's a piece of shit. Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. Oh, yep. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. 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 You know, with the amount of times that Arthur says boy, he's he's honestly, I think he's got like a, I think he's got a bit of competition with Kratos and God of War. Fucking cut him off. Oh yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go uh steal from these poor innocent people. God, this game's so beautiful. Even to this day, like it's not I mean it's not that old, but like it's it's getting slightly old at this point, and it's like Damn, this game looks so fucking good. It's so impressive. We don't want to scare All the snow folks. tracks and shit. It's beautiful. Micah, hide behind that How wagon. dare you? Are you calling me a nasty looking degenerate? I'll have you know I am very dapper. They're having a fun time in there. Hello? Ooh. Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well. Hello, friend. Shit's Did about to know? go down. I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Oh, this uh, dude fucking sneaking out the back. Help you, mister. I got folks, Arthur, dying on the Arthur, trail. we got a problem. <laughs> folks. 
There's a corpse right here. Yeah, that's a that's a problem. Slight issue. Keep your eyes on Dutch. I think you should go now, buddy. No. We're friendly. Now, friend. I ain't asking for much. Please. I am kind of desperate. Hey. I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here. Fuck him up! Boom! Well, yeah. Well, no, not really. Not really customized. It's just Arthur. You you play as Arthur, but you can change his clothes and shit if you want. Boom! The fucking brain. Get up! Ain't no runners on my watch. Let's steal all their shit, Dutch. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Whiskey. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, I'm hungry. I am starving. Ooh, just fucking eat some baked beans right out the can. <laughs> Grab anything you think we can use. I fucking I don't care about their fucking family photos. I just want their damn money and beans. Give me the fucking beans. That's what I'm here for. Oh, and jewelry. Hell yeah. I'll take that. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Can do. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin. See what we missed. Sure. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I I remember people say when Animal Crossing first came out, I remember people saying that shit. And they were like, oh, I just like, I just fucking like kill this villager or like get rid of him. Yeah, yeah, and, I, and I'm and i like, how do you not feel bad? I, w I would feel horrible. Fucking fuck him up, kill him. Beat the fuck out of him, Arthur. Find out what they're doing here and where Colm is. Oh, that guy's oh, fucking face is uh, Look at his teeth. They're fucked up. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? Uh, with the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. Evil Archer time. When you're done. Arthur, not Archer. Fuck. Oh. Evil Arthur time. Oh, Evil Arthur time. Oh, shit. Yeah, got, 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 obviously got to pick up my fucking hat. I need that shit. It's okay, horse. It's okay. Whoa. Is that bastard still in there? He's dealt with. <laughs> yeah, he's dealt with. Like a decent horse. You should keep him. He ain't ever gonna walk again. Oh my god. Micah, Micah, stop assaulting this poor woman. Micah, you're a weirdo. 
Miss! No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss! Miss! Are you... Fuck, you fool! Michael! Miss! Now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you. No harm. Micah, Miss. fucking crazy bastard. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. You okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in an old western movie. Looks like it's Dutch. Hey everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Mike found a homestead, but he weren't the first. He weren't the first. Oh, Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about. Karen. Yeah, we found some of them there and then Micah tried to assault this poor woman. Whose That's husband just died. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, Fucking Micah. Blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up, give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Freaking Micah. Yeah, Micah's not only like everything else bad, but also a racist. I mean, it's pretty par for the course of the time. But still, piece of shit. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last time Let's go get him, Javier. John was headed up the river. Rescue our boy! John, John Marston, the guy we're getting right now, he's the dude you play as in the first Red Dead Redemption game. Because this game is a uh, a prequel to the first one. So everything in this happens before the first one. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? 
damn, it's fucking windy up here. The fucking snow. God, I, oh, uh, God, this gives me so many memories. So, this is nostalgic of real life for me. Like, holy shit, this is what it's like in Michigan. You fucking, like, walk outside in a really snowy day with a lot of wind, and it's just like. You fucking, like, you get wind blasted by, like, fucking snow particles. But it was a bad situation. I ain't like him, though. Tracks go left, down here. Davey got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Yo, know, honestly, this is a game that my uncle would love to watch. I remember he always used to watch. He, he uh, probably still does, but he fucking he watches billion goddamn old western movies and shit. And not even just just the good ones. He watches some of the really bad ones too. I just remember always, I was walking in the living room and he'll be fucking watching his old western films. It's funny. They're so ridiculous. They're always very romanticized. Uh, like, it's such a, it's such a romanticized genre. It's really funny. So many people are like, oh my god, I would love, I would love it. I would love to be cowboy. And it's like, no, you wouldn't. You'd love to be a cowboy until your, your, your house gets like raided and burned down. And like your family killed in front of you or something. And god, don't even... If, if you're if you're uh, if you're black or any other race than white man, you're fucked Yeah, no this game doesn't really have This game is only I would say it's slightly romanticized but like for the most part you see most of the really bad shit, too Like this game does not really I feel like it doesn't really romanticize the whole cowboy like bandit lifestyle because everything it, it, it's just bad. Everything is bad. You, you don't see it. You don't see it yet, but you will see it later. It, it's not a good. It's it's not a good lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. It tackles a lot of real life issues, especially issues of the time. And the main character throughout the game. The main character throughout the game. He goes through like a lot of shit. Oh, trust me, I like the I like the gore and the gameplay and the gunplay and everything like that, but something I also really appreciate about the game is just the story in the world. That's a big thing for me. I fucking love... I love a good story, and I love good lore, and I love good character building. So, this game is like... This game is fucking baller as fuck. Legit, one of the best games ever made like recently I would say probably one of the best games ever made obviously that can be debated depending on what you like in a game but I, that's what I think it's very quality even down to like tiny little minuscule details like when I talked about the fact that the fucking the lumber people and the train people as they work on the tracks and like deforest areas it actually happens in the game in real time which is cool as fuck yeah i i i quite enjoy in mediums like media and mediums just in general where they choose like to make it very historically accurate and show all the historically accurate parts even the bad parts because like this game despite it being a game and despite it being very like, ooh, it's gamey. This game's got a lot of heavy fucking shit in it. It's got a lot of funny shit too, though. That's the thing. It's got it's got it's the best of both worlds. It's got a lot of funny shit and a lot of heavy shit. It's like life. Like there's also that mission uh, towards the beginning of the game. 
where you're like you go to a, you go to a bar with your friend Lenny and you get fucking drunk off your asses and like just do a bunch of stupid funny shit. <laughs> that mission's fucking great. Aw oh, shit. Aw oh, shit, the big big fluffy boys. They just want they just want a hug. All right, come here, wolves. Yeah, fuck you, wolves. Work, Fucking wolves. Quick, get to the horses. I believe this is my horse. You're all right, you're all right, horse. Chill, 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 bro. Just some dogs. Nothing more. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta get out of here, Javier. Something interesting I learned about wolves is that a great way to actually deal with wolves is to just stand your ground. I remember watching a video about it. It was like talking about the like the behavioral patterns of wolves. And it's actually pretty common where like larger animals, if they're encountered with a pack of wolves, wolves will usually only attack if you turn your back or run or show signs of fear. So if you stand your ground and you try and really fuck with them, usually they'll be like kind of weary of attacking you. Obviously, it's not always gonna work. They're not always gonna be like Scared of you or something or like not want to attack you, but Generally if an animal stands its ground and doesn't run wolves won't attack it Even if they have the uh, the number advantage But if you run You're fucked Like if you run from a pack of wolves, you are actually dead They will chase you Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. you. Got any other lost maidens need saving? The video Not I today. the video I learned that you from is a, a video well, by a YouTuber named Tearzoo. If you like cool so animal content, like uh, like, like his or like me. actual real life you like biology and shit, know. he's got really good videos on that shit. Come on, Bro's cool as fuck. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. He like takes he like takes topics like that that are normally really boring and scientific, and then he makes them really fun. It's really good. I like it. We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. 